Hello and welcome. And in this video, I just wanted to showcase how much of a difference the ray tracing in lumen reflections does to the, well, basically reflections and the quality of the things that's being reflected. As you can see, I will be showcasing it using this, uh, you know, pile of chop wood and a couple of spheres, just, you know, to, to, to reflect the spheres and, and Shinbei because um, she is an animated actor, so it will be interesting to see how it will be reflecting. So first things first, as you can see, um, I am in the, give me a second, I am in the mode of the Lumen Overview. So basically this is, you know, the casual lead and this is the Lumen Overview. So we can actually see what we're having. As you can see here is the Lumen Scene. In the middle is the reflection view and on the right is the surface cache so as you can see if i zoom in a little bit we don't have anything so currently the settings are as follows uh, if we go to the project settings go to the engine oh, yep engine rendering and we scroll down to the lumen now uh, we can see that we have this um, number of settings that we can tweak so uh, first things first, um, you have to enable the uh, hardware ray tracing support. You will have to restart. Well, basically, uh, that is if you have the video card with ray tracing capabilities like RTX or uh, latest AMD video cards. So you enable that, you recalculate the, the cache of the shaders and, you know, you go back here and present it with this. Now. As you can see, uh, currently we only have the software ray tracing mode and on the top, as you can see, the lumen looks, well, absolutely horrible. However, the software ray tracing mode also enables detail tracing. As you can see, a lot of things improve drastically. So, as you, uh, but the reflection view is still kind of horrible, as you can see, right? So if we can just zoom in a little bit, yep we see that it's a, it's two blobs. Like one of them is a sphere, the other one is supposed to be looking good, but it doesn't. And we do not see Shinbi. If I start it up, we can see that there is a little bit of, um, actually it's a little bit weird because we do have, do see the shadows, but we don't even see the actual skeletal mesh. All right, cool. We can now uh, enable the ray tracing and Pay attention to the top three uh, visualizers because they will improve immediately. Okay, um, there is a little bit of a problem again because the reflection view is kind of like shadowed. However, something is definitely happening, as you can see. Yep. We can see Shinbi. However, we can improve it even more if we go to the heat light and reflection, as you can see. It's, well, it actually traces against the actual geometry, including the animated one. So if I start simulating the game, so to speak, you will see that we do indeed have everything going on and happening. Now, of course, I can uh, improve the quality, but I'm not sure if my GPU will crash. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay, as you can see, the FPS is not good at all, but you get the point. Um, currently, I'm running from 3060 Ti and it sort of works all right. But obviously, if I had a more powerful GPU like 3080 or something like that, or if you're watching it a little bit later, where when the next gen, next next generation of video cards come out, maybe it will be even better. But as of yet, it's kind of like um, you know. It, so currently. I am recording at 4K, so this amount of pixels is, I would say, about 3K, maybe 2.5 by 1.4 thousand pixels. So it's a lot of pixels. So in case you're watching it from like Full HD video, you should be like, um, you should understand like there is a lot of pixels going on. So the quality that we are having in those previews. Uh, are, is really good actually so I'm not surprised it takes a lot of G 
GPU effort to actually render this. Anyway, so um, again, just to preview how much worse it becomes with every iteration. As you can see, whoops. Um, yep, global tracing looks like this. And of course, hardware ray tracing looks like this. It's night and day. Hopefully this will help you in case you were wondering just how much difference does the ray tracing and um, all the bells and whistles in Lumen do uh, make for the rendering in Unreal Engine 5. And there you have it. It's, it's a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye-bye.